So you're telling me you believe you created that a hundred dollars to a thousand dollar scam, that quick scam shit on the yeah. green dot scam on Instagram. Yeah, because like when I was getting, when I was first, bro, I was one of the first. I was like one of the first biggest uh, scammers, like on the internet. Now, it's been scammers that been out here, right? But I was one of the first biggest scammers. Uh, that been out here on the internet going crazy before anybody. You feel me? I was the first sending the message. If they go look at my file, you feel me? It's all documented. It's going to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Like what I was doing. Exactly what I was doing. Just like everybody. Just, just like all these people. Remember when I first told you about Hush Puppy, right? Yeah. And I was just like, man, bro, you know, bro, A1, check out his page. You're going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like he, Like the top entrepreneur now i never knew like about him doing what he was doing what they said he tried to get caught up for but me outside looking in i feel like when you're a successful black man and you're getting a lot of money the type of people just like these youtubers that we were just talking about those same type of people are in law enforcement right so even if you're not this scammer or not this bad person they will paint this picture around you to make you seem like you're that type of person. You understand what I'm saying? And everybody, the whole world will believe you're just this bad person. But me personally, bro, bro had a lot of a lot of real estate, a lot of this, a lot of that. And they still made it seem like his whole thing involved around just being a big scammer. You get what I'm saying? So it's sad, like how the news and the media will make you, but let but I guarantee if he was white, it would have never happened. Hmm. I'm just being 100% honest. Now, a lot of people be like, I know Hush Puppy and I know the, but then you look at who Hush Puppy follow. Well, why Hush Puppy don't follow you? You get what I'm saying? It'd be weird to me, like, like a lot of people that be on social media, how they mix stuff up and say stuff and all this type of stuff. I'd be like, bro, but trust me, bro, as far as that screen dot shit, I was one of the first to start that shit, though, bro. I ain't gonna cap. And how much do you feel like you, you made off of that shit? I didn't want to do it that long, so I probably made about 40, 50 bands, and I switched it up. That's when I started. I, I wanted to, because that's that level is great, right? But um, cards, doing cards was better, because, I mean, yeah, you're making a few thousand dollars a day, but cards, you can make 30, 40 a day, because if you do two cards at $10,000, $20,000, that's, you know what I'm saying? You do the math, there's probably 60 to 80 bands down there every day. At that time, that's when when it was fresh, when it was new. Didn't nobody really know about it. Just like didn't nobody really know about the green dot shit. So when they seen that shit flooding through the internet, they like, wow, what's this? So I can give this person five hundred dollars and get five thousand dollars. So you gonna catch that little big wave and that big drift, and then after that, everybody's gonna say, man, that shit ain't that shit ain't you ain't gonna get shit from that shit. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't already ran up fifty to a hundred, hundred fifty. You know. Yeah. I wonder, does that shit still work today? Yes. Because. Plenty of people doing it and it still work. Years later. Years later. Because you got to understand, bro. Everybody's not computer savvy. In 2020, in 2019, somebody turned 18 that don't watch our, our interviews, that don't watch TV, that that's just, just naive to life. So guess what? They want to make some quick money. The people that were 16, 15 are 20, 19 right now, right? Now they realize how important credit is. Now they realize how important a car and apartment is, and they need it. So when they're on the internet and they're seeing these little quick money scams and they're seeing people make millions off of scams, they're thinking this little dumb shit. Like, oh, no, maybe they made millions off of giving guys 500 and getting 5,000. No, that's not it. So they got to yeah. go through a whole lot of fuck-ups before they realize, like, oh, shit, that's a scam. Oh, this, this is the real way. Credit is the real way, like I tell everybody. But people are not going to realize until they get, you know, up in age and realize how important and how much they need it. 